The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the October 31st, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day, and let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't call in and you've got a question, you can send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger Stead, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started. A terrific Thursday, of course. This is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, now we've got just a slightly mixed bag out there. You got the transports that turn positive. They're up 16 points. The other U.S. indices they're trading to the downside. The Dow's off 400 points. S&P 86. Nasdaq 421. Russell's off 26. Semis are down 193. Gold's off 55 bucks. Silver's off a buck 35. Natural gas is up three cents. Uh, Lights recruit is up nearly a buck. And the 30-year Treasury printed out at 117.09, down 25 ticks. Our leaders in the clubhouse to the upside, booking holdings up 202 bucks, four and a half percent. Root is up 65 bucks, 160 percent. Paycom Software 38 bucks, 22 percent. Carvana 36 bucks, 17 percent. And Madrigal Pharmaceuticals 29 bucks. That's a 14 percent move to the upside. Our shakers to the downside, led by Monolithic Power Systems, 158 dollar move, 17 percent. Regenerant Pharmaceuticals, 86-point move, 9%. Huntington, uh, Ingalls, down 58 bucks, 23%. Bank of Montreal, 39 bucks, 8%. And Teleflex is down 33 bucks. It's a 14% move. we got movers and we've got shakers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Well, these markets are in the extreme. Now, oversold condition level. Let's take a look at New York Stock Exchange, that advanced decline oscillator. It's well below the 150. That's not to say it can't get lower. If we take a look at the low that we've seen for the year, that came back here on April 16th. And uh, what the once that bottom came in, we just simply moved higher from that point forward. So we are in that extreme. You get that extreme oversold condition when you get down below the minus 150 level, certainly minus 250. And you're really now, so the market can get it even more oversold than this. What we'd be looking for is some type of bottom pattern, New York Stock Exchange, maybe one of the uh, equity future contracts out there. If we take a look at that spot, VIX, and so we're going to want to watch this at day's end. And why is that? Well, first, this chart here, this chart here represents uh, specific points in time for each day. No specific points are when we get a one day rate of change above plus 10% in the spot VIX. That's where we're at right now. We're at 13.12% uh, out there or below minus 10%. We get above that. If we close above that, uh, um, uh, if we get a one day rate of change above plus 10%, odds favor that we will see some type of overnight uh, bounce or bottom pattern form out there. So something that, again, at 1110, it's not as important as what is that one day rate of change come days end out there. We could talk about what pattern that you'd be looking for uh, during the show out here. Not a whole lot of requests at this stage of the game. Um, Nothing else really, I think, to talk about here. So let's get into it. And when I say let's get into it, we got the end of the month. 
And so let's go take a look at what the end of the month charts are signaling to you and I. Let's start with the ES Mini. Give me a moment here. We'll switch over to the eight panel white background charts. It's a little different than the other eight panel that we use. We're looking at some real ultra short term time frame charts. But here is the ES Mini. Left hand side. So the uh, the uh, last month we completed a TD9 count top on the monthly time frame. Again, this is a continuous contract that we're looking at. That negate that would have been negated with the close above. Uh, the close of 50, uh, the close above, I'm sorry, the close above uh, 58.30. That's the high of that session. Well, we're at 58. Uh, we, we had been above it up until the last couple of days out here. So now we're back below it. So we still have a TD9 count top in place for the ES Mini for its monthly time frame. That suggests move back to 5,600. So watch that at days and as long as we don't close above that high, last month's high out there, that's its signal. So you got a topping pattern on the monthly. We have a TD9 count and a road momentum indicator top on the weekly. If we close the week, that would become uh, tomorrow below 57, uh, 57.85. That's going to suggest move back towards 56.48. If we look at the daily time frame chart. Now, the daily time frame chart, I do not have a topping pattern out here. It doesn't mean it hasn't topped. And if we do get a close below the bottom of its daily profile for two consecutive closes, the bottom of that profile being 5802, that's in lieu of some other new profile forming. That would suggest that price could pull all the way back to its breakout level of 5470. So the daily right now, assuming you get a close tomorrow below 5802, no idea whether you will or you won't. But if you do, 5470 is its target. 5648 is the uh, weekly target at 5600 basically even steven would be the monthly target now let's look at the other intraday charts out here meaning 60 122 40 30 and the five hour time frame chart we take a look at the 30 minute time frame chart what do we have out here we pretty much have a straight line move to the downside um let me see the counts out, out here yeah so i'd have to I, yeah, so I can't pay attention to these counts. These ones I would have to do manually out here. So I don't, at this stage, I do not have a bottoming signal. A bullish reversal candle could confirm a roach momentum indicator bottom for its 30 minute time frame. No bottoming signal on the 60 minute time frame, none on the 120. In fact, it negated a TD9 count bottom pattern here, and it did that at 10 o'clock. That's suggesting lower price. The four hour chart is basically it. The four hour chart is in bar number eight. Bar number eight completes at uh, 2 p.m. Um, our number nine would complete so at at uh, as we come into the close today. So the interesting thing then about that pattern, let's assume that uh, because, because I'm not seeing any support here, there's no reason in essence for the ES mini not to continue head lower. Doesn't guarantee that, but I don't see those signals. Of course, we're not looking at 10 and 15 minute time frame charts where we'd even see an earlier type of a bottom. So let's assume here at this stage we're not going to see any kind of a bottom. Uh, during the uh, that the markets uh, ES mini S and P is free to move lower uh, throughout the day. Spot fix stays above the uh, uh, one day rate of change above plus 10 percent, and he got a four hour TD nine count bottom pattern. You'd like to see a bottom pattern, that same type of bottom pattern, either TD nine count or preferably Rhodes momentum indicator pattern for the 30 minute time frames out there. Uh, and if you can get them for all four, that's when you would get the uh, best bounces. Uh, typically, that's when you would get the best bounces. So that's the ES Mini. I'm gonna close up this chart. Well, we're going to a break. When we come back from this break, we'll take a look at the charts for the NQ. I wanna do the same thing for the Dow, the YM, the equity future contract out there. And then we'll start seeing if we've got some requests that have come in. Uh, let's see, we've got one for Tesla, it looks like. And uh, we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're just kind of going through the markets out here. We're going to go take a look at the NQ here momentarily. We'll take a look at the daily, the weekly, and the uh, monthly charts out there. They should be popping up on our screen right now. So in the upper left-hand corner, we're going to see the monthly chart. It's a continuous contract for the NQ, and we can see a TD9 count bottom pattern completed last month. But we also see that a Sosseter and change line has been tested and rejected. Uh, so that is a key level of support. The, uh, the monthly's got a top, but it's neutral at the moment. The weekly also has a top looks like a TD9 count Rhodes momentum indicator top most certainly price has pulled back and tested and rejected on a weekly basis support at 18 430 50 the next level of support on a weekly time frame would be the center of its profile 19 764 if price were to close below that that would indicate that price should push back down to that breakout level or bottom of its profile and the 18 290 18 430 level once you close below the center of a bearish structured profile, odds favor you're going to get down to test support. That would be the bottom of the profile. So you get a top on the weekly, a top on the monthly. And we take a look at the uh, daily time frame out here for the NQ. Uh, did we, give me a second to check out one more thing out here. Market update. Uh, no, we have not completed any kind of a uh, top out here that I've got. The type of tops, no A to B equals CD pattern. There's no TD9 count pattern. There's no wave number seven pattern. But the pattern that is present right now would be a profile change in trend. Now, if we do close below the bottom of its profile, 2135, if we do that for two consecutive sessions, it still may hold that day's end. But if we do close below it, and we close below it again tomorrow, that's going to then open up the door for move to 18606. So the daily time frame chart, Let's assume you get a second close below that level. No idea if we will. 18,606 is its target. The weekly target is 19,764. The monthly target, 19,548-ish. Now, we take a look at those intraday charts. The 30-minute chart needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The two-hour chart is in bar number eight. I believe this bar completes at noon. It does. Bar number nine will complete at 2 p.m. That says by day's end, we should have a TD9 count bottom pattern for the two-hour time frame chart. The four-hour chart, again, is in bar number eight, much like the ES Mini. This will have a, or likely to have a TD9 count pattern at day's end as well. 
So watch that spot VIX, one day rate of change. Watch each of the 30 minute time frame charts. Well, really watch the, most of the intraday charts out there. My preferred would be the 30 minute time frame chart. If each of them form a TD9 count bottom, erodes mentum indicator bottom, that may not really take place until Europe opens. Uh, early uh, tomorrow morning out there, but at least you know what to be looking for um, out here. And I'll try to show you some examples of that. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the NQ. Let's finish this off by taking a look at the Dow Equity Future Contract. Uh, this is going to first take us to a different screen, and then I'll get the Dow Equity Future Contract. That's gold and the GDX. That's certainly heading lower. Well, let's take a look at the Dow Equity Future Contract. Let's see what its signals are. So on the monthly time frame, it has a what? It's in wave seven is what it looks like to Stevie. A bearish reversal candle. And right now we've got a bear sash. If that's what we have at day's end, you'll confirm a road's momentum indicator top on the monthly time frame. Its next level of support will be 41,430. That's its monthly oscillator and change line. Last week we confirmed or it confirmed a road's momentum indicator top out here. That suggests... Uh, that suggests a move back to profile support. But where is profile support? 41,684. We're at 41,958. So 41,684 would be its target. That's coming from the weekly time frame. And the daily's got a TD9 count top. But bar number eight is what we have forming today. Now, in order for bar number nine to complete tomorrow, which uh, all that price needs to do is close below the close of bar number five. Bar number five is closed on a daily time frame is at 42.606. A close below that tomorrow, you'll have a TD9 count bottom pattern that will form. The pattern will go ahead and complete on Monday. And that says that we could be seeing a bottom. We don't have that same signal in the ES or the NQ or the Russell 2000, my knowledge, but that's the best daily bottoming signal that we have out here. That's from the daily time frame. 30 minute uh, chart, Bullish reversal candle would confirm a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. Uh, the 60-minute time frame chart, I don't see any bottom signal. You got a TD9 count bottom pattern. It's going to go complete here at 12 noon. Uh, so that suggests that we should get a rally up towards its oscillator and change line. That is at 42.183. And those are the only charts. So it's a daily. That's got potential for a bottom. That potential bottom could form by Monday. Uh, and then on the two-hour time frame chart. So watch the two-hour time frame chart today for the Dow. Uh, if we get a close below, let's assume that uh, we close uh, this this bar here is going to close at 12 noon. So 27 minutes from now, let's assume we don't go touch those lows right now. The low is 41.873. So if, let's assume that's the low uh, at this moment in time. If price closes below that on a, a two hour time frame, that pattern gets negated. Tells you about a strong downward momentum move for the Dow Equity Future contract. You've got their price targets out there. Now, I don't give you a price target for the daily time frame uh, simply because it's in a uh, it's it's likely to form a TD9 count bottom pattern tomorrow out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the equity futures and what their signals are. Let's go to our first request coming in from uh, John C. He'd like to take a look at Tesla. Again, that's not the chart that's going to pop up on our screen right now, but it will momentarily. So as I get back to that level out here, and voila, this should be the charge for Tesla. So, John, uh, if we take a look at Tesla, what we can see right now is price is trading with inside its daily profile. That's your left-hand panel chart. That is a bearish structured profile. We closed below that two days ago. We closed below that yesterday. When you close below the center of a bearish structured profile, odds favor that price will get back to test support. Well, that Tesla support is very close to the green oscillator and change line. I would say Tesla is gutting for the 248 and change area out there. That's coming from the daily time frame. The weekly time frame, well, it's trying to break out. Uh, but if it closes back below the top of its profile, that's tomorrow. We were above it. We closed above it last week, indicating that we might have a uh, breakout, a change in trend. But if we close below the top of that profile, 252.41, that was a false breakout message out there. And that says then watch the bottom of that profile on that daily time frame for sure. Because if we close below that, then the next price target, I would say, would be all the way down into the buy zone on the weekly time frame. And that buy zone is between 208 and 215 for getting the uh, change out there if we take a look at the uh if we take a look at the uh, monthly time frame chart out here the monthly time frame chart is going to remain in bullish breakout mode it's trading above the top of its uh, monthly profile that's 214.60 
and it's traded above that green asset or changed on at 230.34. So the monthly is saying I'd like higher price. The daily is saying, okay, I want to get back to at least test support. So you'll have to watch to see if that support level holds out there. If it does and it takes off, then it just simply was just a little bit of a breather. I don't have a topping pattern that I see out here. Let me just open up the chart, just make sure there's nothing else. So the topping pattern was a double top. It was the swing point from the trading day of uh, July 11th with volume of 221 million shares, was tested and rejected with uh, 107 million shares, lighter volume out there. So that's your, that's your. if you don't bust in the upside, you're gonna bust in the downside. The bust in the downside in Tesla right now is at that 248-ish level out there. Nothing else really that I can see here, John. So I hope that that helped you out. As always, thanks so much for helping me with uh, some requests out here. Uh, why, oh why, would like to take a look at the 30-year treasury and the 10-year uh, note out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire those charts up on my screen. We'll be ready as soon as we get back from this break. See Road with TFNN. trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We've got the uh, charts up for the uh, 30-year Treasury. We'll take a look at the continuous contract for the uh, monthly and the weekly time frame chart. So the monthly time frame chart suggests that price is going to go ahead and target its oscillator and change line. That is currently printed about 115.11 or 117.14 right now. So another two points to the downside. I'm suggesting that that is a likely price target uh, because the weekly chart is trading below profile support as well. The weekly chart is likely targeting its swing point from back in April, April 26th, the week of April 26th out there. That range is between 113.04 and 115.14 out there. So those two things tie into each other. Now, if that's going to happen, what we need to see take place on the daily time frame chart, why, is a uh, is for its Rosemontum indicator bottom to be negated. When we talked yesterday, Yesterday about the 30-year Treasury, what we didn't know is whether or not we would get some type of bullish reversal candle. We did. It was a three-river evening, a morning star pattern formation. But what also took place yesterday is price ran into resistance at the level where a counter trend rally would end. And that's the center of its profile out there. We were below the bottom of its profile for more than two consecutive sessions. And so that the level was at the 118.18-ish level. If price had closed above that, that would have been a bullish outcome. We still remain below. We tested that red oscillator and change line. We're below that yesterday and today. And we've been below that really since uh, September 17th out there. So there is a potential for a bottom to form here. Uh, but if that's going to happen, you've got to get that close above that 118.18 and then take on profile resist at 119.12. That could also be the end of any kind of a rally out there. So the daily in, the daily says there's potential, but if price closes below the low from two days ago, that low is 116.24Y, then that's going to say that what we looked at on the weekly and the monthly chart is more likely to come to fruition. So that's what's going on there. We can see some intraday uh, bottoming signals out here on the 240 and the uh, five-hour uh, time frame chart out there. But other than that, that's really all that we've got. Now, let's move off of this and let's move over to the 10-year uh, note out here. Let's go see what we see here. Do we see any kind of a bottoming pattern on the 10-year note? Well, we look at the monthly chart, very similar to the um, – it's trading right now. Well, it's not similar at all. It's not similar to the 30-year. This is trading into a buy zone. And the buy zone is between 108.05 and about 110.24. Now, with the weekly chart trading below profile support, and having a breakout level 109.13, that very much looks like where price is going to go target, 109.13. The oscillator and change line for the monthly time frame is 109.12. So those are really setting up to suggest that price would get down there. If we take a look at the uh, daily time frame chart, though, it did not form a erosement indicator bottom like the 30-year did yesterday. However, today is bar number nine of a TD nine count pattern out here. So it does look like you will get a TD nine count bottom that completes conform that uh, forms today, completes tomorrow, and that too could lead to a rally. But again, you have to watch this red os or the oscillator and change on it is currently red right now. That is an area where you could find a that would just simply be an area where you could get a bounce and that would be just it right now that's about 110.29 so you've got the potential you've got bottoming signals here you're going to likely get a bottom today on the uh, on the 10 year note and as i mentioned on the daily chart you also have a bottom signal on the 30 year out there but i think you got to watch to see how things play out today and or monday out there so why oh why that's what i see when i take a look at the 10 year and the 30 year hope that helps you out thanks so much for your request so we got a request here from Jambalai inside the Tiger's Den. And he was asking about thoughts about the dollar, gold, the 30-year. So we've already taken care of the 30-year. No reason for us to take a look at that. You've got the DAX in here. So let's throw up the DAX. Let's uh, give me a moment here. Let me just, I'm going to shut this down. It's going to take a, a moment or two for that to shut down. Um, boy, did, uh, you, did you catch the uh, game last night, the Yankees-Dodgers game? How about that? How about that opening? You, you thought for sure that the Yankees had it, and I think they did. It's just that fifth inning that they, uh, you know, that they really got screwed up on. Um, all right, where's the Dax? I'm, I'm, I'm talking, knowing that I'm supposed to be doing something, and what was I doing? I wasn't doing anything. Um, 
I think it's this set of charts here that will pull it up. I've got three different tabs out here. That's perfectly. So now we've got the yearly, the monthly, and we'll soon get the weekly, then the daily. It's going to take a few moments here. So uh, just really, I thought it was a great game. That fifth inning was, uh, you know, when Judge missed that ball, that was kind of a, uh, really, are you kidding me? And then how about the play at first base? I mean, Cole, he he had such command of his pitches. Uh, he is he really is a great pitcher. Anyways, I had wished that we would have gone to get at least a game six or seven out there, but uh, not not to be. Uh, to be or not to be. All right. So with regard to the DAX, uh, Jambalaya, this is going to be two years up on a yearly time frame. We know that uh, knee-jerk reactions can take place on two, three, or four bars. So it says caution Will Robinson. If we look at the DAX on a monthly time frame, it has a TD9 count top that's in place. Uh, it would have negated that signal if price had closed above the high of 19,491. Does not look like that's going to happen. Instead, the DAX should at least pull back again and test the 18,646 level. That's its oscillator and change line. On a weekly time frame, we have a TD9 count top. Price below its oscillator and change line. Its price target could be 17,669. And... Uh, if we take a look at the uh, daily time frame chart, so that was the weekly. The daily time frame chart for the DAX has a road momentum indicator top. Price is below, um, you know, yesterday's low. It may be targeting. So it's targeting a swing point from back here on October the 9th. It's trading inside that right now. A close below 18.911, Jambalaya, would then say the DAX is going to go target 18.382. We're not going to worry about those intraday charts. What does the yearly chart says? The yearly chart says caution. This could be the end of its move, and we could see a move of two to four years to the downside. The monthly time frame chart still has that Rhodes momentum, or TD9 count top. It needs a close blow 18.646 to suggest it wants to move lower. The weekly says it wants to move lower, as does the daily time frame. So that takes care of the DAX. You wanted to take a look at the U.S. dollar index out there. That's more complicated, uh, only because of the data feeds that I have out here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, – let's take a look at – yeah, we're going to go to a break in a minute. So I'm going to change screens here. I'm going to try to change screens. And we're going to take a look at Stevie's other U.S. dollar index charts out here. And that's going to be on this black screen. Where is the U.S. dollar? Right here. So here's what I believe is taking place. Number one, you've got that TD9 count top. Uh, and in order for the uh, dollar to negate that signal, you need to see it close above the high from October 29th. That high out there, no, I take, no, this high. You have to see a close above the high from October 23rd. I believe that's the TD9 count top there in the U.S. dollar index. 104.41 is where price would have to close above. Uh, we're into the buy zone right now. So um, the weekly chart is suggested to move up to 105.57. So that's why you're going to watch that TD9 count pattern. The weekly chart is saying not so fast. You've got resistance right up here. So the dollar, right now it's dealing with resistance uh, jam. If that resistance gets taken out, we head up to 105.57. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at the yearly chart here for uh, gold. Uh, you'll see we are in bar number eight on a yearly basis of a TD9 count. Uh, it says you could get one of those patterns. But more so, uh, we've got two years to the upside. And as we discuss here, you can take a look at two years to the upside. We'd be back in 2019 and 2020. What do we get following that? Two years to the downside. Uh, two years to the upside in 2016. And uh, 2017, we got one year to the downside out here. Boy, coming back on this rally back in 2002, um, how many years did you get to the upside? I think that was uh, 10 or 11 years, 11 years to the upside into the high in 2012. And then what do we have? A three-year move to the downside. So, you know, understanding those two, three, and four bar knee-jerk reactions. So this one says here, Jambalaya, weekly, yearly chart says, okay, caution. Monthly chart says, not really sure why you're cautioning anything out here on a monthly time frame price negated a, a td9 count top it did it last month out here so that suggests it wants to move higher price i don't have enough data because i have the december contract up here uh to really know whether or not these uh, wave counts are correct or not so we won't go there but the monthly chart says it wants higher price so what's that telling us monthly chart is saying well, let's talk about the weekly and the daily <coughs> weekly chart is going to go ahead and confirm a td9 count top tomorrow completes that pattern next week daily time frame right now is confirming a roads momentum indicator top we have a bear sash candle out here let me just open this up make sure everybody can see that so now this is suggesting where are the levels of support here jam there's one level at 2737 center of the profile 2713 bottom of the profile and then 2645.30, where price had broken out from. So we got a top on the daily. We have a top on the weekly. Monthly says not so fast. Yearly says caution out there. What does that mean to you? Um, you know, what does that mean to me? Well, here's what it means to me is we got to start watching support. Okay, the monthly says it wants to move higher, but it doesn't tell us when that might take place. So we've got to watch these support levels on the daily and the weekly time frame. Those I've given to you, if I haven't on the weekly, it's going to be that oscillator and change line. Right now, print out at 2708. So, Jim, I hope that was a good overview for the U.S. dollar, for the 30-year, for gold. And uh, I can't remember what else it was that you asked about. Uh, let's go take a look. And I'm going to close these charts out because there's a lot of data taking up resources. Now we're going to go take an Alta Salon or Alta Beauty, I guess, is the uh, 
name of the company. ULTA is the ticker symbol. And this is for David H. And David H., is, his question is, how low can this go? What are our price targets to the downside? Well, the first price target to the downside on the daily time frame, David, is going to be its uh, bottom of its profile. That's at 248.97. The oscillator and change line is just below that. It's printed out about 248 and small change, like a dime or so. So that's a real key level of support. I do not have a daily topping pattern. That doesn't mean that it hasn't topped. But if it has topped, you're going to see two consecutive closes below profile support. We're trading at 251 right now. The daily time frame is not suggesting that uh, now would be the time to enter that short position. Now that we're coming back to a key level of support. On the weekly time frame, I believe we took a look at this yesterday at Tesla. And Tesla, on a weekly basis, did it get up to that high? It did. So it was testing the swing point from July 12th. 824,000 for that week. Uh, this week so far, we are in with 272. So 272 going against 824. That's a, you know, is, is that's a test of a prior swing point on a weekly basis and a major swing point. You know, it's still test and rejected with lighter volume. Price is testing support right now. That's the top of its profile. Where does it close tomorrow? If price is able to close above 252.41, well, then a key level of support will have held so you want to watch that we're 252 even steven right now but what doesn't matter where we're at on thursday at 11:46. it matters where we're at on friday at 4 p.m if we close below profile well then it opens the door for the 208 215 level but more so it would tell us that uh, price if it hasn't gotten back to the uh, 248 ish level that that is likely a very likely occurrence the monthly time frame for tesla is simply uh, bullish we are trading we've, we've seen higher really trading in kind of like the cone of silence, but it's broken through its descending trend line out there, and it's trading above profile and its green oscillator and change on those resistance levels. So monthly says I'm on higher price. Weekly, we're not sure just yet because it's testing a key level of sport. And daily is just a consolidation with inside its profile. So uh, the downside projection, 248 and change out there at this moment in time. So I hope that helps you out, David. And as always, thanks so much for writing in. Uh, X. XPEV is an instrument that is a favorite of GTEs. And we take a look at this. All it's doing after it formed a TDI account bottom is consolidating with inside its profile. Now, it is a bearish structured profile. We're back below the center, which is at 373. So GTE, odds favor, price is going to make a move back to support 358.48. We are sitting at support on the weekly time frame, and if the price were to close below its oscillator and change line tomorrow, that's at about 362. So, it, in fact, I would say if it closed below 362 tomorrow, we definitely get back to the 358 level, but it could be telling us something else. What would be that something else? I'd say that something else would be a test of its monthly TD Nike out breakout level, which would be at 319.05. Now, we are going to close, it appears we will close the month. Or if we do close today below 369.49, you will close below a monthly profile area out there. But nonetheless, the daily one would come first, 358.48. Below that, I would say it's going to have to be the low of the week of August the 16th out there. And that low would be at 318.17. And below that, well, 318.17, that would then be the number because that would be the test of that 319.05 level for the monthly time frame. So that's what I see. Oh, that's Alta. I'm still on Alta. I thought it was on what is Stevie doing here? I think I'm losing my mind. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to lose my mind. Well, that's what I see with Alta out, out there. Of course, I, I may have just repeated myself. I hope not. Here is XPEV. XPEV, as I said, it's trading with inside its profile. It's trading below the green oscillator and change line. It opens up the door for a move back to profile support at 1037. On a weekly time frame, price is above profile, above its green oscillator and change line without any kind of a topping signal. So it's really up to the daily time frame chart to uh, do its work. Now, what you're looking for today, you prefer that the day closes above 1143. We're at 1120 right now. The reason that you want to see it close above 1143 is that would be a second consecutive close above the top of its monthly profile. If we close below it, it tells us that last month was simply a false breakout signal out there. And that then would suggest lower price. Now, I'd say that next lower price would again be between 1037, 979, or 899. Those would be my price targets for XPEV to the uh, downside. Nicholas writes in and he'd like to take a look at the SMH. 
and he's looking for our support levels out here. And if we take a look at the SMH, it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile, 246.12. It's trading below its oscillator and change line. So its target is going to be its breakout level, 212.70. I'm not saying it's going to get there, but you ask for the next support level, the daily support level, 212.70. The weekly time frame and consolidation with inside its bearish structured profile, it has found resistance consistently at the center of that profile at 258.30. Because we're trading below that, last week's uh, low as well, this could be signaling to move all the way back to the 218.22 level or even 208.75. And finally, the monthly time frame chart, which is a TD9 count, Rhodes momentum indicator top, has found support at its oscillator and change line. Only a close below 235.43, which suggests lower price. So what are you going to do out here? Nicholas, you're going to watch that 245, 235.43 number. That's going to be the real key area out there because if we close below that, 212.70 and 218 are open. We come back for this break. We're going to take a look at Meta for Dan from New York City. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Welcome back, folks. we got to go back to Alta. I did not properly uh, cover that for David H. in uh, Panama City. So, David, you're looking for the uh, downside uh, potential here. It's really going to come from our daily time frame chart. We have a, a TD nine cow bottom. That formed out here on October 10th. That led to a consolidation with inside the daily profile. We've made that spread. The prof uh, the uh, uh, the uh, support level, profile support level, being 358.48 to be exact, and resistance at 381.71. Price is below its red oscillator and change line, below the center of that bear structured profile 358.48 seems to be the uh, target the uh, weekly chart shows 362 and change out there that's red oscillator and change line the monthly chart if we close the uh, today below the bottom of its profile that would be below 369.49 that increased the odds of that further move lower again that further move lower being 358.48 now if price ever close below the low from the trading day of October 16th, that low is 352.40. And if it could do it with more than 3 million shares, you would then have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So sorry that I screwed that up the first time, David. If you need any additional information, just write back to me and we'll make sure that I get that to you. We're going to go take a look at Facebook out here, Meta. This is for Dan in uh, New York. And we can see that um, Meta... Uh, has a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top formed all the way back on the trading day of uh, so October the 7th. What price is likely to do because we're below the bottom of its bullish structure profile out here, Dan, is move to 562.35. 562.35 is a TD9 count breakout level. It was tested once since that pattern formed. The price closed below that, then I'd say we head to 531.49. 531.49 would be the top of its weekly profile. And if we close below that, then 493 and change out there, that would be the monthly oscillator and change line. I do not have a monthly top. I do not see a weekly top. All I have out here is a daily TD9 count top with price really trading within a range out there. So hope that helped you out, uh, Dan, as well. And everybody, thanks so much for your request out there. Much appreciated. Please stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll, back, I'll be back with you tomorrow, 11 a.m. sharp. Have a terrific Thursday, folks, and thanks for joining us.